at least four power. So maybe I can defeat the Vandal Soul. Um, I don't really have a way to draw any cards or anything. Alternatively, I could beat a Fnatic, which would give me some card draw so that maybe I can get the extra power I need to beat Kythus. Um, I think it's probably... That actually doesn't seem like a terrible play because I like the idea of keeping that. Then I have the jar, I have the uh, whelp, I have the card draw sitting there on the board. So a lot of things that could kind of build towards making the turn a little bit bigger. Although I actually may use the card draw to get the lion heart at this point. Or to try to get the lion heart. I have four. So the cards left in my deck are the soul shaper and the uh, messenger that reduces the cost of heroes. So I think I'm actually going to do that. And then that lets me draw an extra card. And six. Not quite enough for the Emery, but I think the Lionheart is still pretty good here. So let's go ahead and buy another heavy. And there we go. So um, it's a pretty close game. At this point, uh, he started to kind of get some heavies to try to combat the monsters, and he's still got the, that Temple Guardian that is starting to get better. Uh, as I said, it can certainly do a lot of work in a, in a game. It can almost, and there it is, <coughs> it can almost take the game over by itself at times. Right there, he beat a monster, drew a card, and killed my construct. So that is just a huge swing for one card to create. Um, and now here, let's see, so, I could, I could get a Fanatic to try to buy the Driller Mark, um, I could just get a Fanatic and hold it, I could beat the Gromites, there's not much out there that I can really buy right now, hmm, I think, I think it's probably the the highest value play here is to get the fanatic because there's a good chance I could get the driller mark. Okay, so now I get to utilize the trophy hunter to draw another card and gain another honor, and so now I'm going to get the driller mark. A lot of that is kind of keeping it away from him because his makanas are really starting to snowball. And the other thing is that my turn just really wasn't going to be very effective if I just bought two heavy infantry at this stage of the game. So, okay, Void Avenger, Elemental Adept, nice start. Uh, this is this turn is concerning for me. I think that uh, he's starting starting to gain some advantage by just having some more powerful heroes than I do. As I sort of started to gamble away, at, uh, gamble early in the game on the treasures of the study. One of the things about that card that that kind of makes it a little less attractive a lot of the time is that you know if it gets destroyed you miss using it for several turns whereas you know if i'd used it the last three turns or four turns however many turns it's been out of play you know i'm at 30 something honor and the game is almost over so if it hadn't gotten destroyed you know that would have that may have been a very effective strategy as is it's you know a good bit less effective i think Still have some potential to draw quite the hand myself, though. I mean, if I can combine uh, the Lionheart and the Wolf uh, Acolyte at some point, Prodigal to, well, I don't get to draw a card anymore, maybe purchase the Elan Soul Marshal, uh, somehow draw around to that, defeat the Kythus. You know, there are a lot, lot of good things that I have a, an opportunity to do, but it feels like nothing maybe that my deck is really great at doing right now. Just kind of hoping for the right combination of cards. It's kind of a gamble, but I kind of think maybe I've banished the Void Militia. Because it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to beat a, a monster this turn. And the Apprentice may actually be more valuable for me. And I was wrong. 
Um, in this case, I actually could have defeated a monster. I think the Noxious Soul is easily the Banished because that's the one he can beat with the Temple Guardian. And at this point, I think the best thing I can do is get a Fanatic for future use and use the Treasures to gain three honor. Okay, so now we're hoping that this next turn is going to be a lot more effective because I'm uh, pretty good. His last couple turns have been a lot better than mine. And he's really started to swing this game a lot. Again, still waiting for that Temple Guardian to come up. At the moment, there's nothing out there for him to get with it, but if he buys... Yeah, so he's going to get to buy one of those Enlightened cards and draw a card and clear a spot. And unfortunately, another Enlightened card pops out, so it's sort of a... Uh, that's one thing about this event. It can be a, a pretty... Uh, uh, it can be, you know, pretty enabling to a combo. Uh, if you're able to make the runes to get it going. So... Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to purchase the Enlightened card that's out there. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to gain three with the Lionheart. I'm going to get this Everbloom in play. I'm going to use the Fanatic to make my hand ha uh, to give myself three uh, to get the Granger. Trying to set up for a better lifebound turn next turn. I actually maybe shouldn't have shuffled because now I don't get the Lionheart back. And I'm going to put this prodigal, or uh, I'm going to put this fanatic in play again. So, I do have the end game on her lead, but I do think he's had the rune advantage all game and he's had uh, some, he's got some Makanas going on. And his turns continually uh, over the last three have at least have been just better than mine so if he ends at this turn I'm sure that he's won um ooh yeah that, that may be the dagger right there uh cause he gets some honor he's gonna draw a couple of cards um not sure about using the guardian before he could have bought the acolyte first after he popped the unchained fates but he actually may be thinking about also that his turns, as as I've mentioned a couple times, have been better than mine running on for several turns. So if there's any doubt at all as to the honor difference, yeah, he's he's saving that Unchained Fates because he feels probably pretty confident and with good reason right now that his next turn is going to be more powerful yet again than mine is. Um, best hope is play the Driller Mark and hope for Dartha. And that is definitely not Dartha. So, um, at this point, I can banish the... Uh, I, can, I can finish this game before my phone dies of low battery. I can banish this Apprentice. <coughs> um, and I can... I'm going to buy the Recycler Crab and hope that a monster pops out that I can beat with the Canopic Jar for a little extra value. And now that it did not, it's actually just more valuable to me to go ahead and pitch those cards. And unfortunately, nothing I can do with the Makana Initiate. So that's the best I can do, Turtler. I think uh, it appears uh, that that this one is going your way. Um, good game. Um, I, think, uh, I, think, uh, th I think definitely... Uh, the line I took was, now that I look back at it, was not as good as, it was pretty risky. Uh, and that's that's actually kind of the experience I've had a lot of times with the Treasures of the Study, is that it, it's really feast or famine, and, you know, sometimes it could just make for quick, easy wins, and this time it definitely didn't. And I really did devote a good a good number of resources to it. I utilized it two or three times in the early game before it got destroyed. And like I said, I think that could have made a difference in the game. I think the Temple Guardian, again, was fantastic. So, um, 
that's an interesting uh, kind of theme that that we've had in in the the four games that we've now recorded simultaneously as uh, is Temple Guardian just crushing it. Uh, I was also hoping at some point to build a hand that beat the Kythus, and I'm not sure if I went in hard enough on that or if I maybe should have not gone in on it at all because of kind of the fact that there weren't so many uh, monsters in the center row at the time that I started going for that. Um, meanwhile, I think he definitely made the right choice to go ahead and go with the runes. He banished the Makana that, that was good, the driller mark that was going to get me going early in the game towards that path, and then was able to purchase a couple of Makana that kind of switched the trend there to where really he had the the more Makana centric deck. Um, and I think that paid off for him probably more than I noticed. He, he had the turn where he bought two enlightened heroes, drew two cards. So it was a pretty close game. Uh, and um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, Turtler, thanks again. Uh, always, always good games. Uh, for any of, you, any of you watching on my YouTube channel who have not checked out uh, Turtler's channel uh, on Twitch, uh, please do. Um, always a lot of good content there as well. Um, we'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.